up making an intro to this beautiful masterpiece of an edited video and I don't know why I just started straight off with that in the kitchen so guys enjoy this video it is a cooking challenge kind of thing because every time I make a cookie every single time <laughs> it's hard like a rock and I don't know why that actually even happens but you're gonna have to see how it turns out I guess enjoy this video subscribe love like dislike anyway show you what I got from the supermarket. I got flour, I got caster sugar, brown sugar, and chocolate chippies. I need to get the recipe up. Hang on a second. So in a medium bowl, I need to combine the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Whisk to combine, and then add the chocolate chips and toss to coat. Okay, I've got the medium bowl, two cups. Hmm, two cups. <laughs> I don't want you to see the bowl, but I will. How fun! I like sifting. Sift, 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 sift. Okay, one teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. I'm just gonna guess this is one teaspoon. <laughs> Three slash four teaspoon baking soda. What does that mean? Three slash four, a quarter? Is that like a quarter? Okay, half a teaspoon of fine sea salt. I don't have that, but I have Himalayan rock salt. Whisk to combine. I don't have a whisk. I've got a fork though. Whisk to combine. Then add the chocolate chip. Clean up as you go. I think so. Okay, so how much chocolate chips? Actually, you know what? I wanna go more dark chocolate because it's better for my stomach. One. Extra chocolate chips. Don't do no harm. The more the better. And toss to coat. This is what it looks like. Um, in a large bowl, combine them. Okay. So put this to the side. Combine. Combine the brown flour. Oh, I'm struggling. I can't see. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. It's about half a cup. Okay, half a cup of sugar. Girl, these are sugary cookies. Fuck off, that's way too much. No, oh well. One half a cup plus one tablespoon of melted coconut oil or extra bit. What's half a cup of what? I don't know what it means. Okay, this is what it says. It, it, it says half a cup plus one tablespoon melted coconut oil. And then another one says half a cup plus one tablespoon of water. Half a cup of what? I'm just gonna guess it means like half a cup with the sugar. Extra virgin olive oil. Just one tablespoon of water. So I'm whisking until the oil is incorporated into the sugar. Don't know if this is what it's meant to look like. Cause smooth meaning gr grain of sand. I feel like this is too dry. Guys, I just don't feel like, I feel like that's quite sandy. It's just to incorporate into the flour. Do I add more? Maybe I'll just add one more. It's not smooth, it's sandy, so... I just want to keep adding until I feel like that's the right consistency to go into a whole bunch of flour. Okay, I think I need to add more. I'm just gonna add... I'm just gonna add more. Now this could be the problem. Okay, I think that's just gonna have to do. Okay, so this is what the mixture looks like. I, I think I flipped up. Don't be mad at me. I just, I think I freaked up. No more flour is visible. No more flour is visible. I've done this wrong, guys. Because look, this isn't even better. Oh! Half a cup of melted coconut oil. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go with one fourth of a cup of olive oil. Because I kind of already did that. And then one fourth of a cup of water. That. See, now this is turning more into batter. Oh, guys, I freaked up. Hopefully this is like, it's okay after this. 
So don't overdo it. I might be overdoing it. It looks like that. Use just in. Olive oil tastes really bad. Okay, so it says to not overdo it, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Hopefully that stays, I don't feel like that'll stay. So this is what the cookie batter looks like. So it's actually looking pretty decent. I'm just gonna get my parchment paper out. This is all I have of parchment. Oh, girl. So it scoops well. I have to do a bit of thumbnail action here. Okay. Done with my thumbnails. First batch going in. Okay, so we've got the things in there for half an hour. So I believe 350 degrees Fahrenheit is 170 degrees Celsius. So about there. So I'm turn it on, fan forced, and preheat the oven. And whilst these are still in here, uh, I'm just gonna leave them in the freezer until the oven is preheated. And then we bake them for 14 to 17 minutes. Okay, I'll see you in a couple minutes. It has been a couple of minutes and it's preheated and I've got these out of the freezer. They're nice and hard and I've thoroughly sprayed this with olive oil thing because we don't have any baking paper. So we're just going to spread them out. Heavily coat this bad boy. So they're in there. I don't know if you can see anything but my reflection, but it says that we have to wait 14 to 17 minutes. I'm going to check around the 14 minute mark because my oven's pretty strong. I'll see you then. Okay, so it's 14 minutes. This is what they look like. Oh, uh, oh my God. Am I surprised with myself? Okay, so this is fresh out of the oven. I'm leaving the other ones in there for four minutes. I think I might put this in the fridge real quick because it's still kind of dirty. Five more minutes and they should be done. Okay, this is my first try of the one of the cookies I took out at, at, at 14 minutes. Oh my God, these are so doughy. I made the best cookies ever, guys. Those ones in there will just be even better. Oh my God, oh my God. Guys, I am obsessed with these. These are not only the best cookies that I've ever made, but they're the best tasting. That, that I am so impressed. Um, if you want the recipe, it's Cookie and Kate. I'll link in the description. Best cookies ever. Highly, highly, highly recommend. But thank you for watching this video. That was a crazy experience. Me and my cookies. I'm actually really, really happy with them. Please like, please subscribe if you liked the video. Um, it was really fun to make it with you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you later.